My dear chess friends, this is Sphere Master Victor Neustroyev and uh, today I'm going to show you an application that helps to improve in chess. But before we start, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, do you like reading books? As for me, me not. No, well, actually I can't say I don't like. Uh, of course I like, but it's so time consuming and especially I like reading chess books. Uh, but when you read a chess book, uh, of course, you'll see the games there and you have to sit in front of a physical board and read the book and at the same time make the moves on the board, which, of course, I can do uh, quite rare. The last book that I mm, read was the book by Boris Gelfand, Decision Making in uh, Dynamic Decision Making in Complicated Positions. But... With this new application, Forward Chess, you can read books whenever and wherever you want. I'll show you how it works. So first of all, let's look at their website. Uh, it's written chess ebooks for all what means chess electronic books. It's not PDFs in uh, an electronic version of PDFs. It's a chess book where you can make moves on a board. Okay, first let's check what uh, books do they have. So there are a lot of them, as I see. Uh, I would also uh, create another filter, like for books for amateurs, for intermediate players, for masters, and so on. Oh, but um, here you can find opening books, and game books. And for example, tactics. So what else do they have on the website? No gift cards, so I'm not interested in it. Testimonials from people who already used this application. Frequently asked questions. So it's written what is forward chess? Okay, fine. Uh, let's enter uh, with my account so first of all you have to sign up which is actually quite easy because you have to fill only the email and your password then tick agree and sign up i've already signed up so uh, let's now sign in so this is my profile uh, what do i have so we can go to uh, the web application or download on your own device so if you click to the web application you can also enter as a guest so for example logout but you can always enter with a guest and it's fine uh, at least you can um, look at these four books that are presented here as samples for example the book by Boral Yubslatanovich click study this is the content so of course it's just the first part of the book presented here and uh, while you're reading you can you see the notation and if you click here on the moves they are played on the board oh uh, but it's much better use uh, a desktop application i'll show you so here we click download uh, they have applications for um, iPhones and iPads uh, for Android devices, uh, desktop application for Windows and desktop application for Mac OS that I actually downloaded and installed in my, on my computer. There are three samples and I will also edit my book, Zlotnik's Middles Game Manual. Oh, my book means that I've got it. Um, store, so you can buy the books here if you want. I've got Zlotnik's middle game manual. Uh, so, and study. So, click here. The game, the book opens. So, let's go to the title page. So, the contents is shown here, or you can just scroll down. So, for example, uh, let's start with chapter one introduction there are no pages so you can uh, just scroll down 
and so on until you finish uh, the first paragraph. Okay, so what to choose? I've already analyzed this game, so let's choose this one. Plan B, attack in the center with a 3 4 You can read the text, of course, uh, or you can skip it and uh, start analyzing the game right now. So this is the opening, uh, which I know pretty well, so that's why here I may click just play and the moves will be played on the board. Or I can just skip and move, for example, my mouse here and click on it. So finally we have this position. Knight f8, castle, c6, and rook a b1. Kind of a weird move that is not common for such positions. I know that f3. So you can play your lines here. I know f3, 4 is the main plan here. For example, if knight g6, e4 can be played automatically. Like that. Uh, but it's in the book it's written that uh, uh, rook a b1, this is the move that Stockfish recommends. Let's check it. Because you can also find Stockfish integrated into this application. Okay, looks like uh, rook a b1 is not suggested. f3 mainly, or rook a e1. Maybe it was a previous version of Stockfish that agrees with Botvinnik. Also, you can find uh, openings. So this is an openings book. And if you look at this position, you can find that F3 was the most popular move. 30 games were played there and in 60% of them White won. In 20 uh, there was a draw and 20% of all games uh, with F3 move Black won. And if you want to look at these games, you can also click Games and Search Database. So just a little bit uh, wait until the games will be uploaded automatically. Here we have it. So for example, this game, uh, Bogner Mindl. And you can also watch this game just to, uh, if you're, for example, learning the opening, it's always better to have examples. Okay, B1 actually was played. A5, F3, G6, and Bishop H4. So finally, E4 was played. Okay, let's close it. And we don't need stockfish. So let's continue. So Rook AB1, Bishop D6. You can also... Uh, make the moves using these arrows and here for example black could play two moves but chose knight g6 so if h6 which is the secondary line you can analyze what happens as well uh, it's quite um, important because when i uh, read the book and make the moves on the physical board and then i analyze the secondary line for example, if it's a 10 moves line, I have to make the moves on the board. I can't picture the position properly. Oh, of course I can, but the problem is that I don't uh, see the ideas in that position. Of course, I can imagine where the pieces should be. And uh, then it's a real problem to restore the original position from where I deviated. It takes time, and of course, sometimes you forget, like, about the edge pawn and uh, for example you don't remember was it on a3 or on a2 and then you continue the analysis but the pawn was actually on a2 and sometimes it um, creates problems and so you can't just do a proper analysis okay fine here to go back to uh, the line where we deviated we can just click on the previous move of the main line and then play what was played on in the game Okay, so this is how you can analyze and at the same time read. I'm sure this application will help those who like reading books but don't have enough time uh, because you can do it anywhere and anytime you want with your mobile application, with your desktop application or even on their website. Okay, 
Thank you for your attention. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share these videos with your friends, chess players who want to improve in chess.